Ahlan Wasahlan, and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Basic Arabic with your instructor, Laura El Albani. In this lesson, we're going to learn some basic Islamic phrases. These are phrases that you can use on a daily basis in all of your activities. You'll find them to be very useful. Learning objectives. By the conclusion of this video, students will be able to, one, greet a Muslim in Arabic, two, respond to a greeting by a Muslim, and three, use some basic Islamic phrases. Our first greeting is Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum means peace be upon you. It's a greeting that's used by 1.7 billion Muslims around the world. So anytime you see a Muslim, make sure that you greet them by saying, Assalamu Alaikum. If someone else greets you with the phrase, Assalamu Alaikum, you'll reply by saying, Wa Alaikum Assalam. Wa Alaikum Assalam. Wa Alaikum Assalam means, and upon you peace. It's the reply that's used to, Assalamu Alaikum. So now let's try it. I'm going to say assalamu alaikum to you and you'll reply by saying wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum. Let's try it again. Assalamu alaikum. Our third phrase is inshallah. Inshallah. Inshallah means God willing. And it's used any time you're planning to do something. So if you say, oh, I'm going to go to the movies this weekend, you'll follow it by saying, inshallah. Our fourth phrase is used any time you begin anything. The phrase is, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's try it again. Bismillah ar-Rahman Rahim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim means in the name of God, the beneficent, the merciful. A lot of people will just take a shortcut and just use Bismillah. But anytime you begin anything, you should always begin it by saying Bismillah. So before you have an exam, you'll say Bismillah. When you go out in the morning to start your car, you put your key in, turn it, and say, Bismillah. Let's try the whole phrase one more time. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our fifth phrase is, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means praise to God. Alhamdulillah is used to show appreciation to God for successfully completing something. So anytime you finish anything, you always say, Alhamdulillah. It's also used if you sneeze. You'll say, Alhamdulillah. If someone asks you, how are you? You can answer by saying, Alhamdulillah. Our sixth phrase is, Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah means what God wills, he gives. It's used to express appreciation for something that you find cute or pretty. For instance, if you see a cute little girl, you'll say, Masha'Allah. Or if you walk into a beautiful mansion, you'll say, Masha'Allah. Our seventh phrase is, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah means glory to God. Subhanallah is often used when acknowledging the beauty of nature. So when you see the ocean or you see a beautiful mountain range, you can say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Our eighth phrase is Yarhamakallah. Yarhamakallah. Yarhamakallah means, may God have mercy on you. If you sneeze, you'll say, Alhamdulillah. 
but people around you will say, Yarhamakala, Yarhamakala. Our ninth phrase is the Islamic way of saying thank you to someone. Jazak Allahu Khairan. Jazak Allahu Khairan means may God reward you with his goodness. Let's try it again. Jazaka Allahu Khairan. We say Jazaka Allahu Khairan to a male or Jazaki Allahu Khairan to a female. Let's try that one again. Jazaki Allahu Khairan. May God reward you with goodness. Our last phrase is Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar means God is great. It's used many times a day by all Muslims during prayer and often said to remind Muslims that no one is greater than God. Allahu Akbar. And this brings us to the end of our lesson. Do you remember what we say when we finish something? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Thanks for watching. Ma'asalamah.